Hey everybody! So the other day I was doing work and then I realized I was doing everything but work. I was procrastinating in a way in which I felt I was accomplishing work, but in reality I was doing nothing of the sort. And then I realized that I used to do the same thing with homework, in which you procrastinate while also doing productive things, but it's not productive in the way in which you will get your work done. Here's what I'm talking about. There are obviously easy ways to procrastinate. Everyone knows them. TV, music, just looking at your work and going, ha ha, not today. But I'm talking about the stuff that you actually think you're doing something. And so you look at the clock and you're like, Psh, I've been working for two hours, but literally you have done nothing. And things such as this. You sit down to do your work and you realize that everything around you is a complete mess. And you decide that you can't possibly get anything done when it's this disgusting around you. I can't work like this. So then you have to go and clean the whole place in order to get any work done. <sighs> Much better. You've done something productive by cleaning, but also you've done nothing productive to the work that you've had in front of you the whole time. Then after that, clearly, you open your binder or your work thing or whatever it is, your folder, and you realize it's disgusting. Oh. No. No. You can't possibly do any work when that's gross and everything around you is clean. So you have to obviously organize your binder. But you don't do it in a quick manner, no. You decide to go all out. You, you uncrease every paper. You color coordinate everything. You find paper clips. You do the weirdest things to organize the work that you still need to do. But to you, it's working. And then obviously you look up tips on how to work better, how to, be, how to do your homework better. And you find things like brain food and you decide, Oh, well I want to learn about this brain food that I can use to make my work habits better. And then you decide, you need to cook those things right now and eat them at this moment. And then you're like, well I'm just hungry. So you go into your refrigerator and there's nothing there. And you go into your cupboard and there's nothing there. Even though there is food there, you decide that there is nothing to eat. And then you decide that you can't work on an empty stomach. You can't work on an empty tummy. So obviously you have to find food before you can do your work because you're hungry and also you need your brain food. And then you remember that sometimes it helps when you listen to music while you're studying or doing your work. But that never ends up well because somehow it always ends up in a dance party. The dumb drummer, sicker than the swine flu. Don't really need medication, he got a tissue. Uh, and when he bang bangs, don't need a boogie butt. There are a million or two other ways to procrastinate while you think that you're actually working, but these are just a few that I've come up with. I don't know if anyone else does these. I'm definitely guilty of this. I've been doing it my whole life, ever since I've had to do homework. I would do homework for six hours a night, but really five hours was just preparing for me to actually do the homework. I could have done the homework in an hour to begin with, but I decided that that wasn't right. I had to do everything else first. Because we don't actually like doing the work, so as long as we're putting off the work, we enjoy whatever else we're doing, which is cleaning, eating, dancing, organizing. It's a mess. But at the end of the day, we feel that our homework or our work took us so long when really we just procrastinated for way too long. And we're like, well, I was productive. I did a lot of things. And my favorite is when you decide to make a list of all the things that you need to get done instead of doing them. And then you start putting really easy things on your list or things that you've already done just so you can cross them off. My favorite is making a list is something that's on your list. Because when you cross things off, you're like, I'm being productive. I don't know what anyone else is talking about. I'm definitely getting my work done because I've crossed things off easily. What? No, you're wrong. You made up things you needed to do when really they did not need to be done. Again, I don't know if anyone else does this. I do this. You might all just procrastinate in a normal manner. But me, I like to feel that I'm not procrastinating because I don't like being a procrastinator, but really, I'm the biggest of them all. Anyway, please comment below. Tell me if there's any other ways in which you procrastinate that you feel like you're being productive, but in reality, you're not at all. Like when you call a friend and you're like talking about the homework, but you never actually do the homework. Done that one before. Or just, you can tell me if I'm completely crazy and you just either do your work or go have fun and not do the in-between, which I do, which is stupid because I'm just creating more work for myself. All right, that's it for today. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. If you procrastinate, just let me know either by the comments below or hitting that thumbs up button so I know that I'm not the only one. And remember guys, stay awesome, possums.